what's your name? I'm Sefi Levy from Israel. From Israel. And? Matthew Epps from Australia. Um, and I thought it was kind of unique because Matt, you're a returning Superman Celebration um, goer and this is your first time, first Sefi? Time. First time ever in any type of sort of convention like this. Wow. And um, so, let's see, what Matt, was, uh, what, how, how many times have you come to the celebration? To the celebration, this will be my third time. Third time. Well, I first found out about uh, Metropolis, I should probably start there, through uh, Wizard Magazine, which was a magazine about comics, and uh, it was talking about the fact that there was a Metropolis, a real-life Metropolis. I'm like, really? That is so cool! <laughs> And in it, it was talking about the celebration, and I'm like, I've got to go there. I have to go to, to be a part of this. And it took me a few years to save up the money. It's not cheap to fly all the way from Australia. Um, and, um, you know, your dollar is a bit stronger than ours. Um, but, you know, I finally was able to get the money together and uh, came for the first time back in 2007 which was the time Helen Slater came down for the first time, the original yeah. Supergirl. Yeah, okay. that's cool. She's really yeah. nice. And Sophie, how did you find out about Metropolis in this operation? Well, well, similar to him, I uh, work, well, not work, I, I watch uh, the Cape Wonder website. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jim Bowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of the dedication to Christopher Reeve. Mm -hmm. And he was mentioning the celebration in Metropolis. And like yourself, what is Metropolis? But exist. It was just as so I started looking at the map and everywhere where it was, and it was Illinois, Chicago, and everything. So I thought, oh, I have got to get there. I mean, this is the 80th anniversary of Superman, the 40th anniversary of the movie. Mm -hmm. it's, you have got to be there. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime chance. So from last year, I started saving up and uh, finding out how I can, where do I fly to, how do I get there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I booked everything a year in advance. Mm. The, the, the flights, the hotel, everything a year in advance. So <laughs> I just had to prepare. I was working out and dry. Well, I had a bit of an accident, so I wasn't able to fully work out, but uh, I tried to get as much in shape as I can. Even I had the whole costume. I even have a whole jacket and a, like a real person, <laughs> a real mm -hmm. newspaper person. And, uh, but that, that's how I got to it. Uh, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> it is kind of overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Even last night, I, yeah. after a 36-hour trip, trip. Um, you know, I was really tired getting here. But as soon as I was in Metropolis, my energy level just jumped, and it took me an hour or so to get to sleep. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, you both are obviously Superman fans. So, what? Um, when did you first find out about Superman? I mean, how, when did you both become Superman fans? You want to go first? For me, well, being in Israel, we don't have that much coverage of anything uh, worldwide. I'm talking about a few decades ago. Mm. Uh, my dad brought me a Superman oops, kid, was about six or something, uh, a Superboy co costume from uh, abroad. And so that was my costume. But even before that, we had like, uh, in Israel, we only had one television and one, one television channel, and we picked up from uh, cable uh, Middle East television. They had this cartoon show, uh, what, there was a clown hosting, uh, so, so giving you all sort of uh, cartoons and telling you about all types of cartoons. And one of the segments was uh, the Fleischer cartoons of Superman. That was my, uh, I believe my first introduction to it. And I was, the animation there, I mean, it was a very short, sort of eight, ten minutes, uh, but they were, yeah. they drew you into the, into the actions and everything. It was, it was a, a beautiful and, uh, sure, there wasn't a lot of talking, I think, in, in those shows, but the, the action and, and the drawing and, and it, it looked so real. I mean, of course, now we know the rotoscoping, so it was practically real. Yeah. yeah. And after that, we started getting the George Reeves uh, Superman, uh, black and white, uh, on the mm -hmm. cable television. And then Super Friends came on, but uh, I think by, by then I was already addicted because most of my costume was always, always Superman uh, mm. uh, at the time. So that'll be my introduction to it. Wow. And well, for me, um, you know, Superman had always been uh, there, present in my life. Um, again, Super Friends. Mm -hmm. I saw those when I was a little kid, and 
there's even a photo, and now I'm not sharing it with, with you, but there's a photo of me as a three, four-year-old dressed up in a Superman costume. Um, very cute and very embarrassing, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, that part, I, like I remember seeing the movies on TV and all that kind of stuff, but it wasn't until um, the, the reign of the Superman after the, the death yeah. and funeral uh, storylines that... You know, I, there was more than one Superman flying around. I'm like, what's happening in books now? I've got to buy these books and see what's going on. And, yeah, I, I was hooked. And, of course, then, uh, you know, it was about a year for you guys already, but in Australia we're a year behind with TV shows. Dean Cain's uh, Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman came out on TV and got hooked with that. And it's, yeah, it, it's just been non-stop from that point. So... Got all the DVDs from you know the original movie serials up to Justice League. So wow, love the character. And do you have a lot of memorabilia too, Seffi? Or uh, not as much as him. I have uh, the costume I have. Uh, I have the movies, the original Christopher Reeve movies. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not a big fan of uh, the new iteration of him. Mm -hmm. To put it mildly, because um, I see Superman as more of a hope and something to aspire to, and not something that, uh, oh, please like me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, memorabilia. Well, actually, because in Israel we don't have much of it, and we don't have comic books like that. Uh, so I have very few that uh, my friends gave me one day every time they flew over. I actually bought the new uh, 1000 uh, comics mostly yes. because they brought back the the trunks, it's mm. not underwear, it's yes. not briefs, it's trunks. Yes. And to people will start treating it like it should be. I mean, the whole original design of the costume is amazing. Mm. And when they take out elements of it, it just looks like a big, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, like a PJ kind of thing? Yeah, onesie. like a onesie. Yeah. Well, exactly, like a onesie. It just, yeah. It's not a costume, it's a onesie. Even, <laughs> I think in one of the costumes, they even took off the boots mm. or something like that. I mean, like basically, have an emblem and a cape. Well, <laughs> That can be Thor as well. Yeah, the, the trunks definitely break up the costume. Yeah, yeah. And, well, when you know the history of it, yeah. you know, it was from the strongman, from yeah. the circus. So, you know, He's a strongman. Were, he is a strongman, yeah. so it makes sense. Yeah. And again, it breaks up the colouring of the costume. The whole thing mm. is blue. And yeah. Throw some more red in there, the yeah, yellow belt. Yeah, the build up, just, yeah. There's nowhere near as much yellow on the costume as there used to be yeah. as well, which is... It's a shame, because the yellow gun brings up a lot, because like, the, the, the original character, Jerry and Jerome Swigert, it used to be written on the committee, which I told you on the plane, mm -hmm. they specifically wrote, let's make him as bright and colorful as can be. Mm -hmm. And today is dark, gruesome, it's like, it's like more violent, and everybody focuses on Superman as powers. Because when I ask some, when I ask people on the street, what do you think about Superman? Somebody mentions Superman, what do you think? Oh, he can fly, he's the strongest, he can see through things. And then, that, that's not what comes to my mind. Because like, maybe because I grew up on Christopher Reeve, mm. so all his charity work, I mean, he joined the, the Wish of Star Foundation and everything for the kids. Yeah. So for me, when I think about Superman, I think he's someone that shows, he, he, he helps, not because he wants to be liked, he doesn't even stay for applause, he, he does it because he can. Not because he has to, because he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't owe anybody anything. Yeah, true. Uh, he does it because he can, because he wants to. Mm -hmm. And that's what everybody should be. He's a superman. Mm -hmm. That's because every one of us can do the same thing. It's because he cares. Because, yeah. he, he genuinely cares. And uh, that's one of the lines I like mm -hmm. out of the Justice League movie. Bruce Wayne says that Superman was more human than Bruce Wayne, than himself. And that is... That is true. Superman is caring, a loving character that wants to help others. So, yeah. um, so let me ask you both this: um, uh, what what do you do? What do you do for a living when you're in Australia? Well, the way I make my bread and butter um, is uh, by working at KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, I am the um, the daytime cook. So when all the kids are at school. Um, yeah, about four days a week that I do there. But um, and do you also have a, still do the podcast? I was thinking you had. A I was doing a podcast. Sadly, okay. that's fallen by the wayside. I, oh, okay. not to sound all cliche, 
but now I have a girlfriend, <laughs> and she, yeah, she does take up more of my time. Oh, she okay. is a priority, and that is the way it's supposed to be. Exactly. Um, but all the old episodes are still at thefanofsteel.com. You can track them down. Um, but yeah, I, I also uh, am not as much as I used to be, but I am a part of a, a radio show that uh, goes, you know, streaming live all the way around the world from uh, www. To yyyradio.com from the community radio station that I work at in Young New South Wales. It's a show called The Culture that talks about geeky stuff, movies, and old TV shows, that kind of thing. And yeah, it, it's just some guys speaking back and forth on the on the mics, you know, talking about geekiness <laughs> and playing some of their favourite stuff from pop culture. Okay. Thus, the name, the culture. Okay, and how about you, Seth? What, uh, well, um, I'm a technical ma manager. Uh, manager. Yeah, uh, I work in Actis Digital. It's not a end user. It's like a we uh, have a recording software for broadcasting, like uh, Sky, BBC. Uh, wow. all that. So I tend to fly over the world to do installation of servers oh, wow. and uh, provide support in case uh, it's needed. Uh, and privately, uh, I do like a charity events uh, mm -hmm. every time I can, at least. Uh, I used to do it every since when Christopher Reeve passed away. That was my uh, I was actually in New Zealand trying to immigrate at the time. I was you can say I was brought down to my knees when, uh, mm. when he died. I still have the newspaper from, uh, from uh, New Zealand, yeah. yeah. And uh, when he passed away, I decided no. The image of Superman can't die because of him, because he does. You have to keep doing what he does. Mm. So after that, I started doing. Uh, first, I joined up with a friend of mine uh, who did uh, uh, events for kids with cancer. Mm -hmm. And after that, I started doing them myself. Uh, I saved up money and bought uh, what, like gift packs for uh, kids, and I went up with a clock. And nobody would know because I, I never gave my name. Uh, and the thing I always came, came with a Clark Kent suit. <laughs> and my suit was literally under the Clark Kent suit. Mm -hmm. And had a suitcase which had the boots. Mm -hmm. So I would go with a suitcase and uh, I would go like, uh, can I uh, use the, one of the rooms uh, to prepare everything? So I went as the Clark Kent and I came up with a Superman, with a whole Superman costume, which I bought offline uh, mm -hmm. for, say, for uh, eBay and stuff. They, well, I had them change a few things on it. Unfortunately, the belt was not changed. But. Uh, Dean Cain belt. Yeah, Dean Cain ah. belt. It's a square little ridiculous thing. <laughs> and so I got out with all the gifts and started going each and every kid personally. I always ask how many kids are like 20 kids, 40 kids, and I buy all the gift packs and start giving them. You, you, they see Superman, I mean, the original Superman, bright colored. Cause it, you see the bracket, it makes you smile. Mm. And you see, when these kids, although everything they go through, you make them smile, you, need, you know you did something good. <laughs> so ever since then, for the last uh, 14 years, I've been doing, uh, even for this year, on my birthday, I did, uh, on my birthday, I decided instead of getting gifts, I uh, okay. oh, gave gifts. I bought a lot of gifts awesome. for every single kid in the, in the hospital and uh, wow. gave them uh, from calm painting books to toys, transformers, you know, all those kind of things. Everything mm. I could, uh, I'm not rich, but uh, mm. what I could uh, afford to, uh, yeah. to start developing. Oh, so. Amazing. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. And uh, now, Seth, you say you've already been uptown, so you've yeah. seen the Superman statue already? Yeah, I took a uh, photo of it and all that. So, nobody was expecting this uh, under <laughs> it, actually. Yeah. And, uh, when I was taking a photo, I was like, I was taking the glasses like this, it was okay, I'm, uh, mm. the Clark Egg, no, and then I started pulling this off. So yeah. everybody was surprised at the, yeah. uh, the people there. Really? In this yeah. town? Yeah, <laughs> they actually were surprised. They fell for it. Okay. <laughs> what was your first thoughts whenever you saw the statue in person? Oh, I, I love it. Mm. I'm so glad they didn't make the new outfit and they kept the original <laughs> Superman uh, image. The classic. That's, 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 that's Superman for me. Yeah. And whenever you first came, what, whenever you first saw it? Oh, well, that's going 11 years back now, but um, I remember seeing it, like I'd seen pictures online, but um, it just didn't do it justice, you know, seeing it in real life, yeah. it was just, wow, <laughs> this is awesome. It's yeah. huge, yeah. And of course, that was before uh, Henry Cavill yeah. came on as mm -hmm. the new Superman, mm -hmm. so uh, I, that was never a part of my thinking, obviously. Mm -hmm. It was just, that Superman. <laughs> that is Superman, very, very cool. 
Um, so as a returning celebration goer, any tips or advice for Seffi on what to do and what to see? And ah, well, <laughs> I guess the um, the best advice I can really give is to get one of the um, programs. I think I've got one yeah. here in my I didn't bag. know there was a program. Oh yeah. <laughs> see, first time I ha I don't know if anything is going to happen here, so everything's a surprise to me. <laughs> Uh, as you can I see, he's far more embracing <laughs> of me than the of the origin of the new interaction. Yeah, so. I well, can't even stand a new emblem. I think I've left it in the car. But anyway, um, yeah, just get a program, go through the stuff that you want to see. You know, find the the, the most important stuff for you, and then have blinders to everything else. Just focus on the stuff you want to do. And I'm, like a, I'm like a little kid in the store. I just. <laughs> And I was thinking of you this morning, actually. Oh, yeah. um, they will be screening Superman. Superman. Oh, wow. be. That is so, a life dream. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> you can get to see, see Superman, Superman in Metropolis. So on a sort of a big screen. On a sort yeah, of a big on sort of a big screen, but <laughs> yeah. with you know, a full audience <laughs> of Superman <laughs> fans of, of us. Of us. Yeah. Of us. So, <laughs> that's going to be so cool. Yeah. Well, thank you both for like letting me pick your brains and. Uh, Thank you for coming to the Superman Celebration. Uh, we're here again with Matt Apps and Sefi Levy uh, from Israel and Australia, and they're getting ready to be sworn in as honorary Metropolis citizens. So how are you guys feeling? Really good. <laughs> and then, Matt, you said that you uh, tried to do it the last time, or was... Well, what happened was I wasn't able to make it in 2013 for the festival I was doing something else most of the week. Uh, but I gave uh, Billy a comic book that has Metropolis, Illinois in it. And he's like, what can I do for you? I'm like, well, if you can make me an honorary citizen. And he's like, no worries, quick, get the certificate put it out for me. So I've technically done this before, but I've never been sworn in in front of the statue. So I'm really looking forward to that. Awesome, awesome. Looks like it's, or maybe it's uh, getting ready to start, hopefully, here shortly. Got rained out this afternoon. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was it wasn't going to happen, but it's going forward. Full steam ahead. Yes. They'll be up there. Should drop some rain, stop us. That's right. Right, so Sefi, yes. you just got sworn in as an honorary citizen, so how's it feel? Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> First time I have another citizenship other than my Israeli one. <laughs> and I forgot, uh, did you did you already tell me where exactly in Israel you are? Or I believe so in the first time. Uh, I'm from Netanya. It's uh, between Tel Aviv and Haifa. I'm, I'm a beach uh, city, but uh, the less known one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I know that uh, when I spoke to you uh, the other day during our first interview, you mentioned that you go to the hospitals uh, and you go in dressed as Clark Kent and you come out as Superman in your costume. Yeah. And uh, so you've decided to do the adult costume contest tomorrow, right? Uh, not the contest, okay. the, the parade. Oh, the parade. The parade, okay. yes. Okay. Yeah, I was okay. too awkward doing the <laughs> costume because everybody uh, has such a professional costumes and I'm... I'm I only have a budget for something simple and I just do it for the kids and not for myself. So this is actually the first time I'm going to do this for myself. Okay. Yeah. Just in the parade of costumes tomorrow yes. afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I can tell by the smile on your face, you're just, you're excited about it. Excited and nervous. Because like I said, I am probably older than most of these guys and I'm not in shape. So I, after seeing for the last two, three days, the guys here are buffed up and <laughs> in professional costumes. I'm not going to be anywhere near that. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the superness inside of you that counts. So. Yeah, that's what I hope to bring out. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be looking for you tomorrow in your costume. So, yay. I will do my best. What is it about the Metropolis or the Superman celebration that keeps people coming back? Because you've been here for you've been to the celebration how many years? Uh, Eleven years. Eleven years. Yeah, 11 so years in a row. What is it? What is it about Metropolis? What is it about the celebration? Um, just... Well, for us, mostly now it's become like a big family reunion because we've all become such good friends. We enjoy being together, and I think you know Superman's whole persona of well, truth, justice, and America way. I know it's kind of cliche, but he's just such. Uh, 
Let noisy truck gets out of the way. Sure. We've been coming forever to the Superman celebration. What is it about Metropolis or what is it about the celebration that keeps you coming back? Oh, Superman, for one. Uh, and really, the, the biggest thing is the community. The, 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 the sense of it really is like an extended family. You come down here and you see all these people that you see. Honestly, I mean, you know, we love the celebrities, we love seeing all the people. Honestly, the most important thing for us is. You know, even if there were no celebrities, just being, just hanging out with everybody. Uh, we had ideas for like super symposiums and things, talking about different Superman subjects and everything. That, because we, I stayed up until almost seven o'clock in the morning this morning, <laughs> after the concert and everything, talking about Superman. That's how much of a giant geek I am. My <laughs> wife and I got married October 9th of a night of 2009 because October 9th, two, uh, 1996 was the street day for Superman the wedding. Album. Uh, 1989 so I predate almost everybody that comes now <laughs> and, and probably half the town uh, but uh, no it, it's just it's, it's so much fun and it's, it's really built a sense of Francis Malloy, and um, did I hear you say right now you're living in Murray, Kentucky? I used to live down there. You did? Yeah. Right. Yes, you said. 
said a service dog. Malty, she's four years old. Four years old. She is she's a cool. service dog. Okay. <laughs> she's very smart. And then I see that you got a 98 on your costume. What is, uh, what is that all about? That's the age I was last year when she made the costume. But I'm going to be 99 July 6th. Well, happy early birthday. Happy super early birthday. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and this is your daughter-in-law? Yes. Okay. And what is your name? I'm Susie Malloy. Susie Malloy. It's nice to meet you. Um, so obviously, I guess whenever you were driving through last year, uh, you enjoyed seeing the Superman celebration? Well, we really did. We got to see the river and what was left of the celebration down there. And we went over to uh, the park. Fort Ben uh -huh. Yes, yeah. that's where we went. And uh, it was lovely. Uh -huh. So I thought if it, if it could arrange it, I try to get back this year. Well, well Susie, you arrange for me. <laughs> Yay. We're going to wait and get 100 on that costume. Oh, awesome. And so then I have to live till next year. Uh, so, what is, are you a Superman fan? Well, I was when I was uh, eight years, nine years old. That was the thing my brother and I always did on Sundays. Watch the look for the comics in <laughs> Superman. But I did not know until last year that there really was a metropolis. So Illinois. that was a surprise to you. Yes, it was. So um, after seeing the celebration, how long have you been here today? What time did you get here? About an hour ago. Well, what do you think? Uh, you see, you see a lot of people here. What do you yes, think? What I do you do. think uh, keeps drawing people to the celebration, and brings them back each year? I think it's uh, just loyalty to their area and all of the buildings that are here, that are in the comic strip. I'm sure some of these people, probably not as long as I have, but have been knowing about Superman for years, years. And the, the thing about uh, Superman in the early comic strips, you know, he was a kind person, always helping people. But he was not like the comic strips you see today in some of this that are more violent and they hurt people. But Superman didn't. Supergirl doesn't. <laughs> They're, they're very good little dogs, too. That's Pearl. Not Super Girl, Super Pearl. <laughs> thank you, Mary Frances, for talking to me, and we're glad you're here. Well, thank you. you better I'm glad to be here, too. And I'll interview you next year. If it all is, goes well, I'll be glad to see you again. Yes, and what is that saying that my mama always says? Good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise. That's right. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, so, on Market Street right now, um, enjoying some shade <laughs> with, what's your name? Doreen. Doreen and Dan. Dan. And you all, you're, you said you're from McLeansboro, Illinois? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're here with um, your kids. Family, right family. there. Right there. Come on over here. Come on over here. So, uh, <laughs> right there. You all have been to the celebration three, times. three years. Three. How, how many times? First time. First, first time. First time. First so, uh, time. Well, let me ask you this. What, what have you thought about it your first visit? I, I really like it. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> what about the museum? We just came out of the museum. Just came out. The museum was okay. great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So what? Uh, what? Since you all have been here, this is your third year. What? What is it about Metropolis or about the celebration that you think keeps people coming back? And you said they, uh, you used to come to the road race and race, right? Uh, How uh, many years have oh, you been here? Oh gosh, probably like fifteen. Fifteen years 15, running. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's the common. You know, people really enjoy the the super characters, mm -hmm. the the comics books and I think that it's what everybody has in common okay. and it's the idea that there's actually a real place that's called Metropolis and that they did something oh, with it you know with the characters and it reminds us reminds me of my childhood uh -huh. I mean I remember Batman and Robin on TV the first you know the first Superman in black and white right. and so it's just bringing back 
um, what I knew is my childhood and the good memories of all of that. So it's, it's really neat that there's actual place called Metropolis. And, and you have done a beautiful job with keeping that alive. And so is, it, is it the celebrities, the events, uh, activities? Well, I tell you Everybody. what, the first time I was here, <laughs> Superman was standing over there under Superman. And believe me, I waited in line to take a picture with him. And I put my arm around him to see if those muscles were real. And they were. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a wonderful memory. So, I mean, that's the first time. And, you know, first impressions, got to come back. <laughs> there you go. What about you? I mean, uh, what do you think? I uh, come back because it's unique. Yeah. 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 Nothing like it in America. Yeah. And this is this is hometown America. Yeah, it is hometown. That's what's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is your grandson. What, uh, yes. what is his name? His name is Leland. Leland. So yes, and he is one of eighteen. One of eighteen, and yes. so possibly uh, Leland will be making more trips to. Metropolis well, especially with his daddy over there because he is such a super. Super fan. You said first time. Uh, yeah. Your first time here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you all will be back. Uh, what's been uh, What's been your highlight of this celebration? Have you been here all four days? I, I've only. This is the. I only have to been here once. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So what's, so what's been your so far? So far, it's the museum. The museum. Yeah. Awesome. Hope you all return again. And thank you for letting me. Uh, what 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 are your names? My name is Thomas. Thomas Desiree. and Desiree. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? Do you think keeps people coming to Metropolis to the celebration? Why do people keep coming back? Because it's fun. <laughs> we have a great time here. Uh, it's the only uh, convention that is outdoors like this. It has a family feel. You can bring your kids. You don't have to worry about anything like that. It's not too wild. It's it's family friendly. Um, now, was, uh, let me ask you this, because like, had you and your family come out here to the celebration before your dad moved here? Um, I think my dad did, but I was small, yeah, so, okay. um, So do you have well, any memories yeah. when you were younger coming, or? Um, well, we moved here when I was seven, so I have a lot of memories, okay. and, um, uh, it's fun to look at the pictures. Uh, I was here when uh, Kirk Allen came, so I have a lot of nice, uh, pictures with Kirk Allen, and Noel Neal, and Jack Larson, that, that's really something I look back on my childhood and just think I have had such a ma magical childhood, you know. And then you're in the position with the Super Museum that, I mean, it's just like a, the mecca of all of this craziness, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's really fun to get to see, like, um, Aaron Smolinski and um, uh, John Hames Newton and uh, some of the artists have come down. Yeah, it's, it's just been a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, people that are famous come to the museum because it's famous, so, yeah. All right. Thank you, Morgan. Uh -huh. Excitement. Speechless. Although I feel kind of awkward. You know, everybody has such amazing costumes. And, but everybody is so supportive here that it's, uh, it's amazing. In sweaty. Very hot. Hot. <laughs> but she looks super. <laughs> yeah, super sappy. Yay. So whenever you were in Chicago and on your way to or to Paducah to come to Metropolis, then um, how did it, uh, you and Matt find out that you're both headed to the same place? Well, I had the shirt, the belt, the cap, and he said, you're for the Superman conference. Said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so a dead was giveaway. Dead giveaway. I yeah. gotcha. <laughs> and um, so as the last day um, of the celebration mm -hmm. it is winding down, mm -hmm. um, so what what has been some of your favorite moments? What sticks out to you? Well, you would say that uh, typically would say all the scenery and everything. But I, my favorite thing is interacting with the people here. And they are so supportive. They are so friendly. It's rare to find. I mean, a lot of people. Well, I don't know if a lot of people places in the world people will mock you and oh look the guy is Superman, sing to the Superman or something like that. But 
here everyone is so loving and, and, and friendly uh, and again supportive it's like I, I would have not had the guts to go uh, with the costume outside it's the first time I ever do that I usually go to hospitals and closed in specific environments uh -huh. and you know, with air condition <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here with your help and, uh, and Matt uh, talked me to doing it so so that's probably your your highlight then to be in Metropolis in your Superman costume no being in, in here Metropolis with all the people that's, the people. that's uh, meeting so many I got to meet Steve Yonis from the Superman homepage uh, uh -huh. and, and Jim Bowers from uh, the Kate, Kate Wonder, which I've followed him for the last 14 years at least. And actually got to meet him. It's, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, all the artists in the alley. and uh, even, even just the other guests who came here. Uh -huh. First, most of them were like shocked. Like, hey, from Israel. Uh, apparently, I'm the first and uh, only guy from Israel uh, that's been here. <laughs> so, hey, I'm the officially the first Jewish Superman then. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I know you and Matt told me the other day that getting over here to America to Metropolis, it's not a, a cheap thing. So probably you wouldn't wouldn't be able to do this every year. But mm -hmm. are you going to make plans to come back on another year? I certainly hope so. I mean, I have already have plans for next year for China, and after that, I'm visiting Australia for the first time in twenty years. Wow. So those are the next two years, but. Okay. Uh, then after that, but I, have pl I have plans to be in the U.S. Um, when I turn 45. Okay. Yeah. So I have no idea what will happen by then, but uh, we'll see. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'm here with Al Wagner. Um, you just got appointed to the Metropolis City Council. <laughs> uh, so when was your first Superman celebration? 1996. 96. And uh, you come back year after year. And as I. I would come and stay at the Baymont, and as I would take my annual trip, as I would walk, I came by myself, and I would, and I would, as I befriended more people I, from the celebration, I would stay with them in the Baymont, and as I would walk up, I just, just loved the, the layout of the town, and, you know, I'd walk up, and as I'd meet more people from the community, I just got so enamored with the place because of the friendliness, and out here it just seems like people appreciate more. I'm from New Jersey, which is different, but in, they, they always say I'm a teacher, I was a healthy physical teacher for 38 years, and as I say, sociology, father of sociology is Augustine Kahn. When I taught in Jersey, people said, well, the kids are the same everywhere. Well, that's not true. I could write a, again, I, like I said on the, for the radio, I could write a book because <laughs> when I came out here and taught phys ed, the kids were different and the, and the people are different, and it's totally different. What's unique? about Metropolis is, you look at that statue, it's it's majestic. There's never a mark on it. Like I said, if this was a town like Newark, New Jersey, that was named Metropolis, it wouldn't work. <laughs> here, everything works. And when people come out here, they meet and they see how this is so... The two girls, Lisa and Carla, they do such an unprecedented job. I mean, if you've ever worked, I worked on scheduling as an educator. It's a, it's, it's a, a daunting task. It's, what they do, and Mindy also, the president, is just unprecedented. And there's, they cater not just to the autograph seekers, but to the families. That's what makes this so different than just a, a regular comic con. And they really work to try to keep the prices down, make accessibility. I mean, you've got nine celebrities. You know what it's like trying to deal with nine celebrity personalities? Can you imagine the task? <laughs> so, it really is, this is all positive. It's a wonderful experience for families. And that's what you see. You see families coming. You don't just see people coming. Look, I'm 65, and I'm on a town council, but I've been in autograph lines. <laughs> all weekend long. I'm totally <laughs> exhausted because I just love it. And I remember reading about this in the 70s back in my Jersey home and I was like, wow. wow. And I knew and I told Mayor McDaniels back in 2000, I said, I'm going to move here. And he goes, oh yeah, really? And I retired <laughs> and I only have a son. I have no family left. And, you know, wow. I was like, where am I going to go? Jersey Shore, Florida. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I come here every year. 
So I, I came and I bought a beautiful home in Pheasant Cove. It's a subdivision. I have more, they, my neighbors are just wonderful. It's just. What I, year I, did you end up moving to Metropolis? Yeah, 19, well, uh, 2011. 2011. Okay. okay. And everyone, I feel I'm a old time, old school. I still have a flip phone. I just got on <laughs> Facebook, so if there's anything posted, it's not me because I still have a flip. <laughs> but whenever I get down, I come and look at the statue. I go look at the George Reed room in the museum, that wonderful museum, and I just get rejuvenated. Wow. It's rejuvenating. Yeah. So, that's kind of what I heard from other people today, it's just like the sense of family that you, uh, friends you make and whatnot. And you yeah, think I mean, that's... people, you see, every year the celebration is, I can't sleep, that's why I get so excited, it's like, who are you going to meet? What are you possibly going to see? What collectively are you going to find? Are you going to get, you get all your stuff autographed, you plan weeks, you get everything lined up, but don't forget this, don't forget that, and you get in the line, you know, it's just, it's just exciting, exhilarating and to meet all these wonderful people, you know, and they, you know, and the cost is, you know, it's so reasonable, it just gets better and better every year. Those like girls it. just don't get enough credit, they really do. It's just nothing but positive things people should say. It was wonderful. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm on, okay, I'm on the Market Street with? Glenda Parishaw from Paris, Illinois. Paris, Illinois. Uh -huh. And how many years have you been coming to the celebration? This is my 14th year. 14 yeah, years. Ever since I found out about it. <laughs> wow. How That's did up. you find out about Metropolis? Um, a lady came that had bought some something and told me about it, came to my house and said, oh, you like Superman? You know, uh -huh. have you seen the Superman celebration? Uh -huh. So we looked it up online. We've been down here ever since. Wow. Yeah. Why? We love the museum. I'm friends with people down here because I come down so many years, you know. So I love Morgan and the museum and Adam. And, of course, I love Superman. <laughs> and I like meeting the stars. Okay. Well, yeah. Actually, let's see. What do you have on your yes. hands? Yeah. You I actually got, got autographs? Got Brandon Ralph and Aaron Swimlansky. And last year I got Dean Kane. Wow. Because those are the guys that. Did that they I've actually met. autograph your leg? And no. then you got or did it? It was things they autographed, and I took the picture and went and got it tattooed. Tattooed. Yes. Wow. Big since, six they, since Brandon was coming back and Aaron, I, I went and took the picture and went over and said, I, get, I know I get things on my leg now. <laughs> For long, it's going to be filled way up, you know. Wow. So. That's awesome. We're glad. People say I'm crazy. I'm crazy about Superman. Well, that's okay, awesome. That's, that's super. That's super. <laughs> super. Thank you, Glenda. Thank yes. you. Here we are again on Market Street, and I'm talking to Johnny Lloyd. Johnny Lloyd. Mm. And how many years have you been coming to the celebration? Off and on since 2004. 2004. Mm. Yes. Mm. And um, what is it about the Metropolis, or what is it about Metropolis, or the celebration that keeps people coming back? The, uh, for me, it's a love of the character Superman. Uh -huh. It is the atmosphere in Metropolis. It's kind of like a family reunion. I like I like that aspect of it. Um, everybody, everybody's nice. Everybody, you know, likes Superman. Superman stands in for hope, in my opinion. You know, uh -huh. and um, I've liked all of the, the all the Superman movies and all of the all the Superman TV shows and a lot uh -huh. of the comic books and all a lot of the characters. So. That's what keeps me. Uh, that keeps me going time and time again, uh -huh. you know, and stuff. And and the celebrities that they bring, you uh -huh. know, to to the Superman celebration and stuff. So. Um, and I forgot to ask, where are you from? I'm from Texas, uh, from Texas. Uh, Fort Worth, right Fort Worth. outside of Dallas, you know, in, oh, okay. in, in Texas. Mm. Mm. Um, there we go. Now you said in 2005, you uh, volunteered, I guess, to help out with the celebration. Well, actually, a friend of mine was bringing uh, actress Margot Kidder in, who played Lois Lane, okay. and, and the Superman movies. He was bringing her in for the Metropolis celebration. Um, uh, Tim Gardner was bringing her in. Okay. And um, I was working with him, uh -huh. and I got to help out with Margot Kidder, and she was she was very nice. We picked her up at the airport and drove around where she wanted to go and that, that kind of thing. And so, so it was good. I, w I was doing things like picking up her luggage, and, and uh -huh. that you know, life was good, you know. <laughs> so, so, so that was good. She, she was very nice. She's very nice to me, and she and she liked me. And um, we were we were driving around town, and um, and there was a it was, the funny thing was there was a she she said that she needed to get her prescription refilled, and so um, uh, Tim stops at a Metropolis drugstore or Metropolis Drugs I think is what it's called, 
And she, she stops, she says, now, no, we can't go in there. And I said, why? And she says, well, if I go there, they're going to take my picture right under the sign. And then that picture is going to end up on the front of the paper. And it's going to read, <laughs> Lois, Margot Kidder Lane, at it again. You know, <laughs> so so she said, no, we, we have to go to Walmart. So we went to Walmart and got, got her prescription film. But, but, she, but she, she was a lot of fun. And we, we drove her around. And she wanted to go gambling, of course, at the casino. Mm -hmm. So um, I told her that, you know, every time I go in there, they ID me. And so she, she just looked at me. And so sure enough, as we start walking in, they, they ID me. So she, <laughs> she walks over there to them casually. She says, excuse me, I'm Margot Kidder. And, and the guy looks and he goes, oh my God, it's Lois Lane. She says, and, and she put her arm around me and she says, and this is my boyfriend. And, and if, if you're going to ID him, then you're going to ID me too. And he's going, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, so, so anyway, she, we, went, we went on in, you know, so it was, she, she was a lot of fun, you know, she, 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 she was a lot of fun at the celebration and, and everything. So, so temporarily, you were Margot's boyfriend for, and for, for, for a little while. I, for, for, for a little while, yes, I was and stuff. So, so I got to. I, I, I did many conventions with her. I, I did. I worked with her in San Diego and in uh, Las Vegas, you know, as well, you know, and stuff too. So, I, so it was a lot of fun. So you've been to there. some other bigger conventions. How yes. does Superman Celebration compare or differ from some of those bigger ones? Wow. Night and day, a lot of times, but okay. <laughs> uh, from San Diego is, is is a different convention in and of itself. Um, uh, I'll tell you how I describe it. Smaller conventions talk have a lot of actors in them most of the time. They talk about things that they used to do, you know, and stuff. In most cases, it's what it is. Sometimes they have a big big star that changes the scenario, but in most scenarios, uh, actors talk about what they used to what they used to do, uh, do and all that kind of stuff. And all the fans come and see them. But at the San Diego Comic Con, you've got writers, producers, directors, actors, everybody talking about upcoming projects, and everybody wants to see it. And all the hit movies coming out, and all the hit TV shows. So so that's different, and they they sequester the mall off differently. It is a huge huge building, and one year they had over three hundred fifty thousand people there, you know, and stuff. So it was, it was just incredible. But that's, that's San Diego. Other conventions, it's all different scenarios, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Now, when I was in Vegas, it wasn't a convention that she was, she was, they wanted her to set at a, uh, it was a comic book store or a um, antique store is what it really was. And they had, though, uh, one of, one of Christopher Reeve's suits, you know, there, and they were, they wanted her to set out there, do autographs, but, but I have the suits, and they, they were trying to sell the suit, uh -huh. you know, kind of thing, so, so anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I helped her with whatever she needed help with, you know, there, so, so that, um, that was cool, and I, I actually, I walked around handing out flyers, so they told me I couldn't do that no more, so, but, um, oh well, it's kind of fun, you know, And so. where did you say you're from? Uh, I'm from Texas. From Texas, okay. From Texas, yes. Okay, and what yeah. part again? It's Fort Worth, which oh, is Fort right Worth. outside okay. of Dallas. Fort Worth, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Fort Worth, yeah. Mm, so, and um, so you make plans every year to come back to the celebration? I do, okay. I do. I, Steph, I know a lot of people out here now. You know, so I, I, I'm even good friends with the alderman, you know, Al, uh -huh. Al Wagner, you uh -huh. know, so, so it's cool. Um, anyway, I, yeah, um, and also the people in the museum, you know, and stuff, you know, um, uh, Jim and Morgan, you know, and stuff, so, and other people around town, you know, and all that. Then the, the good thing is everybody comes in from other states and other cities and everywhere you meet up with them. You see them on Facebook a lot, but it's different when you see them in person. And, you know, right. so I think that that's a lot of fun. And yeah. how did you find out about Metropolis? Well, I had heard about it for years, but I didn't believe it existed. You know, <laughs> it was weird until I, I until I met Tim Gardner, and then I directly asked him about it, and he said, "Yeah, I go there every year." You know, and so I said, like, "Oh, okay." And he, and he started showing me pictures, and then I called him up and said, "Can I go?" Well, yeah, sure. You know, so I was like, "Okay," so I, I went out there with him that year and helped him. You know, with somebody. Uh, the year uh, Jackson Bostwick was was there that he played Shazam on TV back in the okay. back way back when. And then I forgot the oh Lou Ferrigno, Lou Ferrigno was okay. there, and there was one other that I can't remember who what who it was. But anyway, there was there was that was generally oh Noel Neal, yeah Noel okay. Neal was was here. That's she used to come every year, you know. Yeah. So, so so yeah 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 miss her, but you know, yeah she 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 was a lot of fun too, you know. So um, but. Um. So I've been having fun, you know. Yeah. It is it is a lot about having fun, you uh -huh. know, here. And uh -huh. you're amongst people that like the same kind of things that you like. Right. You know, so that's that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story and oh, well, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming to Metropolis. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We're in the shade 
by the Superman statue with Stephanie Perrin from Romeo, Michigan. Romeo, Michigan. It's about an 11 hour drive, but always worth it. Wow. And how many years have you been coming to the celebration? Um, since 2002, it is 16 years now. 16 years, and you always help out? You're, you always volunteer, too? Pretty much, yeah. I do. Um, sometimes I don't even finish my sentence. I'm like, hey, let me know if you need any. And they're like, oh, Stephanie, we would love for you, too. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Um, so how did you find out about Metropolis? Actually, my grandma. Um, in 2001, my grandma cut out an article about the celebration and it had a photo of the Super Museum, the little marquee that is on the, is on the sidewalk, and it had a photo of the water tower, and then it had a photo of the Superman statue over there. So it was very exciting, and I read all about it, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, can you take me? And they called up the chamber, and the chamber's like, oh, yeah, it's this Thursday. And, of course, we get the paper on Wednesday. And so I, I asked my parents, I said, next year, don't get me anything. You don't need to get me anything for Christmas. You don't need to get me anything for my birthday. Whatever, just get me to Metropolis. And so they got me to Metropolis, and I've been returning ever since. So 16 years ago, what, you were like two years old? How old were you? Oh, thanks. Um, my, my first year here, I was 18 or maybe 19. I think 18. Okay. So. And so, I mean, uh, you come back year after year. You make plans every year to come back? This is my first yes. <laughs> so what, what keeps people coming back to Metropolis? What is it about well, the town or about the celebration? Well, first, it is Superman that first brings me here, and, and each of us. Uh, all of our first year, it's to find like wow a town that celebrates superman and with a huge statue and a museum and then there's tons of stuff like around like the chamber and of course this year you know we've got like superman s's on on the street and on the sidewalk over at the mayor's office there's always something superman is what first brought me but then it was the people that keep me returning um it was my love of superman but it was the love of the people that kept me coming back. And so that's actually part of my reason for volunteering as much as I do. I want people to have that same love and experience, especially their first year that I had. So this is where I met you, uh, what, five, six days ago? So as you're getting ready to depart back to Israel, any, uh, any last words about the celebration, Metropolis? Uh, Everything has been great, especially the people. I mean, when you start with uh, something like this, uh, obviously you go to see the event and everything, but what makes the event special, for real, is the people that you meet there. Because you, you, you're coming to, to some place that unites a lot of people for one thing. It doesn't matter what race they're from, what the religions they have. The image of Superman, what he represents, uh, makes us all unite to love each other. Even when we disagree on stuff and everything, it's the idea behind it that makes us all one people. Awesome. I just wish we could do that all over the world and not just in one place. Very well said. Safe travels to you, Sethi. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you so much. We're here at the... Uh, oh, here. <laughs> Here at the airport, uh, getting ready to see Matt Apps off on his journey back to Australia. Uh, so, give me some last uh, thoughts about the Superman celebration. Uh, what were some of the highlights? Well, first and foremost, meeting Brandon, of course. It's my second Superman now. Matt Dean came last year in Sydney, so it's nice to add to my list of Supermen. Um, Becoming an honorary citizen. Yes, I'll be voting when the, when the election. <laughs> let me know when the next election is, Michelle, and I'll, I'll definitely vote for for Billy, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a great time. You know, so much fun. The auction was fun, and I love the fact it was raising money for the theatre. Um, it seemed like it was going to a really good cause. So you know, I was glad to be able to purchase. I could have bought the stuff at the Superman Museum, but now it's, it's raising money for. The, the, the theater, so that was great, and yeah, it was just, it's already over. I just got here, I, I don't want to go. Please, so, stop me from going, I'll, I'll move in with you, I'll do so, yeah, I'll find a place, I want to live in Metropolis. But no, it was a really great time, and I'm sad to be going, uh, and I'm going to miss all you guys at the planet and, and Metropolis, so. We're going to miss uh, you. So, thank but, you for, um, 
thank you for everything and thank you for uh, talking to me and doing the video thing that I have got. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Here for the one day because uh -huh. we got the flights got all jumbled up. Uh -huh. and I was leaving on Friday evening to be here for Saturday morning, and I was in airports all day Saturday. Wow. I didn't get to Paducah until 11:30 Saturday night. Wow! And my luggage didn't make it either. Oh, no, <laughs> so that was yes. in 15. It's in okay. 15. Now okay. this time I I left Thursday morning. I was here Thursday afternoon just to make sure that everything was good and everything was good. So. Uh -huh. I'm just hoping that we don't have any flight delays today because yesterday I heard that, you know, the L.A. celebs were here and they were sitting around for about four hours because oh, bad weather in Chicago. Okay, I mean, to have a, yesterday, I mean, this whole weekend, the heat was brutal. And to have people out there yesterday afternoon in costumes doing their Superman parade and cosplaying and all that stuff. And, I mean, people were wiping their brows all weekend. Um, what is it do you think that, I mean, since you've been to the celebration twice now, what is it that keeps people coming back? I mean, the love of Superman. 